There are always a million questions on how to set your bow shoulder properly in the optimal position. So in today's video, I'm going to cover how to set your bow shoulder in the optimal position. I'm also going to give you some things that you should be looking out for and some other ways on how to approach setting your bow shoulder. So let's get to it. You're watching the Jay Kaminsky YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Jay Kaminsky. I'm a two-time Olympic silver medalist in the sport of archery. I'm working to make this channel a great resource to all types of archery, from form to tuning, uh, mental stuff, exercises, you name it. Uh, so if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the notification bell. That way you're notified when I do upload new videos, which is super often lately. I'm working to make you a better archer and eliminate all the growing pains that I had when I was growing up. So I already did a form series on how to set your bow shoulder properly amongst a million other steps. So if you haven't yet, uh, check out my form series. There'll be a link in the description below, plus I'll put a link up at the top here on where to check that series out. It'll really help make you a better archer. I uh, teach you the NTS or the best method uh, or the KSL shot cycle, whatever you want to call it. Um, essentially, it's just the way that I was taught on how to shoot from my coach, Coach Kesick Lee. So what makes a good bow shoulder and a good strong bow shoulder? Well, a couple of things that have always been said is you need to have a low bow shoulder or a locked bow shoulder. Um, but you know, there's a really a few ways to go about it. I will give you the best way at the end of this video. Uh, but some things that you need to be looking for is it does need to be low. Your alignment needs to be proper. Also, something that you should be looking for is what is called the acromium divot. Now, if I'm in the proper position, at full draw, you'll see that there's a divot here. So the actual deltoid will flare up because that is lifting my arm up. And the acromium is this bone that's on the top of your shoulder. And because there's no muscle there, you'll have a bit of a divot right here while you're at full draw. So if you can see like this, I have a divot. If my bow shoulder was high, there is no divot, right? Or if my alignment was improper, there is no divot. But if I'm in the strong, proper position, I have a divot on my acromion. Now, some of the muscles that do activate while in the proper position with your bow shoulder is your triceps, your lats, your serratus, subscap, your teres, infraspinatus, supraspinatus, uh, lots of muscles. Um, it, they can be very confusing because a lot of people will want to try to fire their tricep and their lat at the same time to stabilize. But something that I'm a big proponent of is, and what was taught to me early on, is using a, I guess, a way to approach shooting of movements versus muscles. So the whole idea is if you are using a muscle or trying to focus on a muscle, you may not be using it properly. The best example that I've already given many times is my bicep does this motion. It lifts my hand up towards my face, right? Now, if I'm thinking about my bicep, if I do it correctly, it'll bring my hand to my face, but I don't feel it very much. I can make my bicep activate more by flexing it, but I am also flexing the opposing muscle. And now I feel my bicep more, but my hand's not moving. So if I focus on just moving my hand towards my face, the bicep does its work properly. Now, like I said, it, there is a lot of muscles involved, but don't focus on the muscles. And this is the easiest tip that I can possibly give you on how to set your bow shoulder properly is to do the correct movement. And this movement is simply taking your wrist, the base of your wrist or your hand, and reaching as far as you can. If my bow shoulder is high, my draw length shortens. If my alignment is improper, my draw length shortens. If I'm reaching as far as I can towards the target, out towards the target, I have the divot, I'm using the correct muscles, and I'm stable. That's it. All you need to do is reach towards the target, and that sets the optimal bow shoulder. Now, when do you do that? I set my reach motion right when I'm lifting my bow to the top. Once I get to this position, I set my bow shoulder and I'm reaching towards the target as I'm pulling the bow back at the same time. It's really that simple. There's nothing very complicated about it. I've had a million questions on how to set the bow shoulder, and it's just that simple reach towards the target, it will get in the optimal position. If you don't have that acromium divot, you're not reaching enough. Um, so 
really check that out and make sure you're reaching towards the target. Thanks for watching, and thank you to my Patreon supporters. If you want to become a Patreon supporter or check out books, apparel, and some seminar info, head to jkaminski.com, and uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you again.